So I've wanted a tree house for quite a while. Now I'm building one. I considered that tree over there, but that one's too exposed. I thought about maybe some of those trees over there, but those wouldn't really work. So the tree that I ultimately chose was this one over here. That's our tree. And we haven't started yet, but basically when you're trying to build a tree house, what you gotta do is use really big bolts. These are three quarter inch steel lag bolts. I want it inch thick, but whatever. When you're going into a tree because it's a living thing, you wanna do as few intrusions as possible. And so that's why you do really big intrusions. Sounds counterintuitive. You want to, uh, you know, stress it out as little as possible. You see, it's kind of bleeding. Uh, who, who knows what it's doing there? That wasn't me. We're gonna be putting the bolts in. We figured out where they're gonna go and we've got a SketchUp model. Uh, we, we figured out the plans for this thing. We're going 12 feet high. It's gonna be awesome. Here we have this stump that I'm using as a workbench and I've tested my drill bit already. This is a 9 16 inch drill bit. Works really well. These are the points that I've already measured from the SketchUp model where we have to put our bolts. The trick is you only get one shot to drill a hole. And if you screw it up, then you, uh, you don't get to do any takesies or backsies because it's a living thing and you don't want to kill the tree, obviously. So I'm going to drill the holes for these very carefully. First intrusion into the tree. So I'm just going to keep going until I hit the until I hit the tape. That's it. Woo. So that's it, now we put the bolt in, basically. Yeah. Just not <laughs> too much. I'd, uh, I'm just, I'm so nervous about that hurting don't the tree. Worry about it. I just, I don't know, it might start rotting in there. No. Here's our FACO wrench that we invented. You video me. What happens if I turn this? What do you mean turn it? Well, make it so that I can see the whole tree. No, that's vertical video. Then th that's even Is that worse. bad? No, that's terrible. You, you don't gotta, want that. It's not a photo, Mr. Photographer. Well, you can't, you can't do vertical in here? No, no, it's, it's, it's... So the only way I can do that is to go down like this. Yeah, pretty much. Then that is so MacGyver. You said it wouldn't work. I said it wouldn't, but then I thought, well, if it if it's you know gonna have the best chance, I'm gonna tape it even well, better. That tape is good. I, I've got a ways to go. Oh shit! You can stop recording. Well, it's got to go in all the way. I've got to use up all that space. And it is a thing of beauty. All right, that's enough. That's enough. You might not have cleaned out the last one enough. That might have been why you got. You, there was gun. too much gunk in there. Yeah, that's that's leaking hey, sap pretty well. Sure. Here. Don't, don't go any further. Don't go any further. Go back out. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> that's really full of sap. Okay, just slowly. That, that's, that's way more sap than I ever expected we would find. Is this one harder than the last one, Terrence? I think it's, uh, it's fairly easy, actually. It's harder than the one where all the sap came out. Felt like I was killing the tree. It, it tasted like, no, like tasted floor polish. The that's the final bolt on the bottom. We're gonna do them up there. This piece of wood can be various heights. It might be eight inches, it might be seven inches, and then that'll balance that side out. I'll be here a while. That's it, that's all the bolts. We did it. Yeah, we did. Put all the bolts in. Got it. So does that look up lined up pretty good? Oh yeah, it's good enough. Well, you wanna have this exactly centered. You don't want to put it in all the way. Exactly. That's the plan right there. That's okay. not bad. So we we put the first beam on and we hoisted it up using a pulley from the ladder with a double system on there to, for stability. We're clamping this side over here um, so that it remains level. Actually, did you get the level? No. We need the level. You can't do that unless we have it level. And that just goes all the way to the ground. And that's it. You just put the bolt on. Okay, I'll hand you the There's the bottom just... view. That's the bolt. Yeah, so now we're gonna do the one on the bottom and that's gonna go with 45 degree angle boards to the top one. Yeah. 
That's on pretty well right because there. Because we didn't mark anything there, I don't know where it's supposed to sit. The, board the 45 degree support. Don't Trevor, know. don't. I'm just checking my plans here. So the distance we need is there. It's nine inches away from the edge of that two by 10, which means I have to measure that up there. And then we can figure out how long to make the two by fours. Better we'll be supporting it. Oh, that's lined up. No, not perfectly. Oh, that kind of lined up. Okay. And we'll get another, we'll get another, we'll do a nail in here later. Yeah. That's we'll do pretty another nice. screw like this. Well, we put this on the wrong side. It's 90 degrees off from where it no, should be, so we have to do it again. It to come off or we raise the whole tree for it and redo the hole. Yeah, but that's a tree, so we're not going to do that. You can see how much higher we could go. We could build a three-story tree for it. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, there is a lot of room on that tree. Now, I was thinking to put a, a balcony on the roof, but that's just going to leak like all get out. So there we go. We got the important first part done. We had to do it twice, but now we're on the right road. <laughs> what, what about those bolts up there? What are you talking about? Are we going to put plates on those as well? Probably. Yeah? So now I'm painting it with sickens. Uh, we should have done this before and then let it dry, but we don't have much time. So I said, instead of waiting a day, We'll put it up and I'll paint it at the end of the day. And I already painted the parts that are connecting. So this is just the waterproofing that I'm putting on now. Sickens. And now we're gonna haul the second thingy up. It's not a joist, right? It's a beam these under the are, joist. These are our two primary beams. Right. Yeah, and those are the hardest ones to put up. Oh, wrong kind. Oh, I don't even know which way to do this. Oh, now I got a good shot of you. Okay, explain what you're doing here. This, I actually, Need to focus and I cannot explain. Okay, just focus on I'm, what you're doing I'm, as I'm you're squaring it. the two the two beams. Okay, so the distance here is is exactly one. Hmm. Well, it's all confusing because there's millimeters and feet. Yeah, I hate that tape measure. This is gonna be so pretty once it's done. Okay, it's half an inch. It's half an inch too high. Okay. okay. And the other one looks like it's about half an inch, uh, quarter inch too low. We've got both of the 2x10s up, but I'm concerned at the distance that they are away from the tree. I think they're too far away from the tree, so I'm tightening this bolt, which is now surprisingly easy to do. I can do it with one hand, um, because I think the closer it is to the tree, the better. The trouble is you need to give the tree some room to grow, but the bark is so thick that that's not a structural element. You know, you need it to be as close to the wood as possible. I don't know how thick this bark is. So if the tree starts growing, I'm just gonna cut away bark. Okay, the floor is gonna be made of two by eights. This is the first one, and the ones closest to the tree get a bolt on them. And the bolts, we didn't, we weren't able to put them totally perfect because it's a tree and you can't measure around a tree. So we had to cut a little notch. And the other side has a little bumpy thing on the bottom to add a quarter inch. And you can see that the center of the beam, the C, is not the same as where the bolt goes, B, because the bolts are hard to put in a tree because a tree is a weird shape. I'm going to fasten this to the bottom of the bolt. We put in all of the supports. I've never actually seen anybody else build a treehouse this way. It's a tangent design. These, these 45 degree 2x4s are tangent to the, to the tree, right? And that's the only way that I could figure out to get them to work with that big bolt there. Because otherwise you have to make something that's going out like this at this angle. Anyway, look over here, this is funny. These two kind of touched each other. So we had to carve a little, we had to carve a little bit out so that they can uh, peacefully coexist. That's pretty funny. In the SketchUp model, they didn't hit each other, but the tree is more, more curved than I realized. It, it leans a little bit to the north. Beautiful wood though. Yeah, that planer really makes a difference, because otherwise they'd all be that black. Yeah. That was just a really curvy board. Look at that, we got four joists up. Oh, that's gonna be so good when it's done. So the issue with these is that we only have two screws. We only have one screw on each two by four. So we need to put a plate in here to secure the whole thing better. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna buy those. And then it won't move anywhere. 
Well, there's extra nails on this one, I guess. So yeah, see, this is my experiment. This one worked really well. Yeah, how long are those nails? Those are three and a half inches. What do you think? Here. Oh, thank you, sir. Did you open it? No. I don't, I don't know how to open this. No, you don't. Oh, nice. I want to get up there. I want to put hurricane ties on it. You know, those ones that go across 90 degrees. All right, so for a lot of the treehouse, I didn't take any videos. I just took a bunch of pictures, so I'm going to have to narrate to you guys what the heck is going on. Sorry, I've got a treehouse to build. I can't hold a camera all the time. So I bought attachment hardware. It's probably galvanized, but I'm painting it black anyway because I think it looks nicer. Those are the hurricane ties. Very important for keeping the joists from, you know, popping off while we're walking around up there. Oy. And here's just a regular old plate that uh, I put at least one of those on every single one of the 45 degree supports just to hold it. And here's the plates that I put on the very bottom. Ooh, so nice. So for the floor, I think I went with half inch plywood and I really should have done three quarter inch. It's probably fine, but I'm not confident in that structurally speaking. So I'll probably add some reinforcement to the bottom later. Of course, my father and I, uh, <laughs> are always happy to celebrate our meager accomplishments with a cider at the end of the day. And here's the view that we had. And remember that, because this changes later. I think it took a picture. I don't know. Now I took three. So I put a picture of the forest behind the treehouse on my SketchUp model so that I could try different colors of roofs. And I ultimately decided on a brown roof and green walls. It just you know, it seemed to work the best. So here I went to Rona to look at their roofing and look at the different colors and stuff. I ordered a roof. It cost me, I think, about 300 bucks all told. And what I ordered was not quite long enough. So I needed windows and I just grabbed whatever I could find. Half of these are salvaged. Half of them I paid like 10 bucks for. So these are great. They came out of an old trailer from somewhere. And I designed my walls after I got the windows because I didn't know what size they were going to be. Here's all the plywood I used for my walls. Turns out I used the wrong kind of plywood. It's not the nice kind that has the flat surface. Instead, it's got all the uh, knots in it, which is not as nice looking, but whatever. It's a treehouse. lesson learned, bleh. So here's one of the walls just laid out before I nailed it down. Here it is all nailed together. And here it is with the plywood on top. Ooh. I had to build these like upside down because the flat part needed to be the part on the floor because that's where the plywood is gonna go. So then I would flip it around and then put the plywood on. I'm going to install the walls without the windows in them. I'll put the windows in later because otherwise they're just totally gonna break. There's a lot of pictures of the SketchUp model on my phone. I didn't want to bring the laptop outside because, you know, half the time it was raining. So, you know, instead of having to write it down on a piece of paper, I would just take a picture with my phone and this worked great. You can see I used very, very different colors for every single um, piece of wood in there because it was very important to know exactly which beam I was talking about when I said I need a beam of a certain length. And here I think I'm finishing, this is the final wall that needs to go up. These ones with the roofy parts on them, those were tough. There is a video of us putting up one of the walls. <laughs> okay, hang on. Your side has half an inch remaining. That side has about four inches remaining. Okay, can I? So, so we need to, what? What are you saying? Oh, I need saying, to kick it just, okay, no, Don't kick so hard, yes. Okay, so now all we need to do, you got about four inches on that side. Yeah, yeah, just, just so very gently, gently. Okay, keep going. A little more very gently. Very can we nail it on, the, on that side now? You can see the slight and deliberate overhang on the plywood on one of those walls, which I did to, just trust me, that's for the corner. It, it totally works. It's a good idea. Uh, this is Mr. Potma, one of our neighbors. He helped us take these walls up because some of them were really heavy, but this man is strong as a horse, and he was basically lifting the whole wall by himself at some point. This man is an actual lumberjack and lives in an actual log cabin. It's amazing. Here I'm picking out a hinge and a trapdoor ring for my trapdoor. So we got all the walls up and I'm very pleased about that. This is a great shot. The porch looks fantastic here. It's never looked better because this was freshly painted with sickens. Periodically I will take pictures of the bolts just to make sure that the tree is not like dying or to see how much space there is left between the tree and the bolt. You know, I just want to make sure that nothing is going wrong. Here's a tree that fell down quite some time ago. I'm going to chop it up and turn it into my two vertical posts for the porch, which will hold up the roof. 
Here is one of them going in, and my father is very proud of this. And then we celebrate it, of course, with some cider. And as we go, I'm just painting stuff with sickens. Oh, here we are nailing the wall back together. Gotta make sure those are square. My father used to work in a truss factory, so he knew how to build these things, and these were easy. So I only have time to work on the treehouse during vacations and holidays and stuff, and there's a lot of other work to do on the farm, so I didn't have enough time to uh, put the roof on, and I was also lazy. So I put a tarp on and left it that way for many months. And uh, one day I get an email from my parents saying, your treehouse is moldy. As you can see, it is very muddy. I put a tarp up, but it, there was a really, really powerful windstorm and it blew off and then got one piece of glass left, a bunch of water got in. And oh dear. Yeah, these other two broke. Oh, that's good because I only needed one. I'm gonna climb this ladder and hold my coffee at the same time. It looks really shitty. Yeah. Well, what am I gonna do? Is that all mold? Yeah, you have to paint it over or something. Well, is that that's not gonna work. Well, you can't take it apart. We're not doing that. Oh, for heaven's sakes, and the floor is all garbagey. Oh, it really makes me mad. I worked really hard on this treehouse. It's know. all shitty. I know. It was all beautiful. I should have put sickens all over everything. No, you should have done put the roof up faster. <sighs> We did what we could. Yeah, but I gotta let the walls dry out before I paint them up. Don't I? Yeah, so I mean, you won't do it till this summer. Can I spray like mold be gone on them and know. then paint I them don't up? Know. You'll have to do the research on what you can do. So I already had the roof at this point, and I just had to put up a bunch of four by ones to support it. Looks pretty cool. So important moment time. We are cutting the roof to go around the tree. I made a uh, a mold with with these paper bags which are really floppy and horrible. I cut, I got the measurement wrong on here and you can see it, uh, the roof doesn't go where it's supposed to go. So we're gonna take this piece down and use it on the other side, on that side, so it'll be totally fine. Some people just build tree houses for a living, like it's their business. Can you imagine? That's like a dream job. I would love to do that. This is like I'm wet and I'm dirty and the thing's gotten all rained on, but I'm having a great time. And now we're going to actually put pond lining or some other thing between the tree and the, and the roof to keep out additional water and to allow the uh, tree room to grow. That's really important. Now you may notice all this sap here on the tree. This was an existing problem. I got the same problem on this tree. It's, it's actually a lot more. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Like. Were all of these trees hit with a shotgun blast or something? Like, it's all on this side. Man, that looks great. It's really coming together. So here's the ridge that goes on the top of the whole thing. We gotta cut it in half. Uh, there's our last piece of roof and that one. We just gotta put it on top of the deck and we'll be good. I also neglected to put sickens on the bottom of the porch so you can see over here there's some mold starting. I'll have to scrub that out too and then in the summer I'm gonna put sickens on the bottom of the whole thing. So we got a ladder up 45 degrees to the ground and we're gonna put, gonna put the roof part on. I finally got the roof on. I have an overhang but it's not as much as it probably should be. And this overhang is probably not as much as it should be as well. I should have gone an extra foot. And there's, there's weird mold spots on the outside of the building. Okay, so I've got these cleaning supplies. I'm going to scrub off the mold on the walls. Apparently you can just scrub the surface and um, that pretty much does it. It works pretty well. It'll still be stained, but the mold spores will be dead if you use bleach. That'll cause discoloration, but that's fine. I mean, it's already discolored. So that's what Taryn's up to. I, I do things other than editing videos. I build tree houses. Okay, I built one tree house. The neighbor, who just recently moved in like last year, after I already started building my tree house, he has wolves. And every time there's a siren, they just start doing that. Those look like really miserable apples. And we're going to go look at Tensory House. Yeah, okay, come on, let's go. Okay. Let's see, the windows are still on, I guess. 
It's really wet. From up there. It's coming from around the trunk. We can see the water's not getting in through the windows, which is great. Okay, I gotta get that pond lining this week then. Cause uh, this is unacceptable. It's Where just too much. Right up there, in there. Oh, you're gonna rubberize yeah. around. Because I couldn't put the roof right up against it because I was gonna strangle the tree if I did that. But look at how much water is just dripping all in. You've left a huge gap. Oh, I had to. It's blowing. So we're here at the nursery with a tomato baby. So I need the, I think, 20 foot long one, which I think is this. I would not get one foot, I'd get two. Foot. I, mean, I was thinking one and a half. this ladder and install some windows. We just I haven't been in the treehouse for like a few months. And there's these magical sap oh, yeah, droplets on the ground. Little, little gem, little it, it, it looks like uh, water but in fact this is from the nails that I put in to hold on the shroud. I didn't want to but I had to do it. So it's been bleeding a little bit and I feel bad about that but it's not getting wet in the treehouse anymore. I know, it looks like a little cabin now in the woods. I got the windows in. Not all of them. I th oh yeah, I still need a door. We're now feeding the horses. These are not our horses. They're just some horses. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just coming back from the gym and I see this dumpster full of wood. Fortunately, I've got my cargo bike. This is flooring and it looks perfect for my treehouse. So I'm gonna take all of it and strap it on using the bicycle tape. I'm gonna go check out my treehouse, see how it's been. Yeah, this tree is definitely intruding. Look, it's, is this dying already? It's still, oh, the door's getting moldy. Okay. Oh, still nice in here. Oh, you know what? I think the shroud is not entirely up. You see the little loop right there. Still plenty of room around the uh, tree. Look, hey, there's bird droppings on my floor. Not entirely bueno right there. I'm not sure what the issue is. Clearly it's getting rained on by junk from above. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's all moldy underneath. Holy crap. Man, mold just grows like mad out here. This whole floor. You know, I, I thought I sealed that up real good. I was up there for like half a day. But this is going to have mold underneath it too. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. You know, you just uh, you learn by doing. What do we got here? More mold? Yeah, not as bad on that one. Like, we're in a rainforest. What about near the window? The windows should be sealed. I even used fancy pants stuff. Let's check this out. <sighs> okay, a little bit around the window. I mean, you can see daylight between there. This is where the birds are getting in. Obviously. All right, I'll, I'll deal with this later. I never considered how snow might be able to make it through the shroud because it kind of sits there and then it melts. I might have to go back up there and put more waterproofing right there because that's where the shroud begins and ends. I don't know, man. There's my treehouse tree. I just measured it. It is 48 meters tall. That treehouse is only like 12 feet off the ground. So imagine a tree twice as tall as that is the height of a redwood. The highest redwood is 115 meters tall. Just hold that and I'm gonna do. I'm pointing at you? Yeah. So these are for my railings. We dragged these out of the forest and then I left them here in the snow and now the bark comes off really easily. I was having so much trouble with this yesterday. Only one day? Did yeah. it that fast? One day. Okay, it's October 2018. Whoa, that tree is definitely dying. 
Huh. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that one down. Wait, that's the tree that I liked. No, it's the chickens. The chickens? It's the runoff. Oh man, that was my that was my cover for the whole forest. All three of these. Shit. This one I was going to chop down anyway because it's way too close. Uh, oh man, I'm really bummed about that tree. That sucks. That sucks that oh man. Well, we can't just plant a new one. I mean, I guess we can. Okay, it's really uh green. Up here. I know, right? Okay, we still have that. I'm bummed out. So, so we got some bird shit in here. I think that was already kind of there. I'm surprised. I thought it would be. I thought it would be way more wet in here. Like it just makes me concerned about like putting a floor on top of this because then that makes a gap between where there can be water and it could just mold. So like I might just coat the entire plywood. No, no, with stickins. Or yeah, paint, I guess. But I think sicken seeps into the wood a little bit. Wow, yeah, it's not so bad in here. You see this rope here? This is what I have to cut right now. That will absolutely strangle this tree to death. Nah. Yeah, it will. That's how they work. The living part of the tree is on the outside. Yeah, and all of the moisture flows up the edge. It. No, 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 no. It's big tree, it's dead. It was that not dead, dead. before? I thought that was due to wind. Behind it's dead. Oh I man. See more, you can see red needles in there. I can. Like Shit, one. you're right. Um, the king of the forest is still alive. This, alive. this one behind it's dead. The one behind that's dead. This one's dead and fallen over. We already knew about These those. These two in front are dead. So what is it, too much nitrogen in the soil? Yeah, it is. So it's like 12 trees are dead. That one, look Trev, you see what I said about strangling a tree? That's why that one's dead. It's alive underneath where it got strangled so many and it's dead above. That's where we hung the laundry line. That's how trees work. Lumberjacking is the most dangerous job that exists. More dangerous than fighting fires and police work because you have these massive multi-ton things just hovering above you that come crashing down. Whoa! That came off a lot more easily than I thought. For my balcony, I need uh, up and downy things, you know? I can't use branches. I gotta use full tree trunks. So I might as well use the tree trunks from the trees that are all dead in here. It really sucks. Alright, I'm cutting posts! Here we are, getting all the bark off of these pieces of wood that'll make up the balcony. Chickens like to take dust baths, and that gets parasites out of their skin. But there's no dry spots except, obviously, for right underneath my treehouse. <laughs> this project has really taken a long time, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. Because, like, it's just, you know, it's something I don't have to worry about. Right? I got the roof on, and now I'm done worrying about it. That post goes there. That one goes there. That's the view. Windstorm last night. The edge of the woods is definitely uh, moved. It's a lot of trees came down. My treehouse is still standing, but it is sure vulnerable looking. Dude, look at this. And this guy, this is the most impressive one. And you can see that the tree fell and split into multiple sections after it fell. Good heavens, it just keeps going. Wow. Like was was that was that that one? I think it was. And then there's this one. It's still alive when it fell. Um and uh <laughs> feels like it came perilously close to hitting my treehouse. 
<laughs> you would not want to be out here in a storm. The, uh, what is it called? Balcony is going to go here. So we decided to make these spots flat because otherwise there's really no way to get it on there unless I carve it. I don't know. We made flat spots. So I'm, I'm making them more flat. You can tell that the trap door has not been here as long as the rest of the porch. And check this out. Oh yeah. Well, it works. Okay, let me up. Okay, come on up. So you're not going to put the uh, hinge in yet? Yeah, we are. Okay. We're building the ladder. It's so beautiful already. Oh, look at it. Here, you felt. I want that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, now, now you go get a wide shot. Stand over there and get higher. Well, look at that beautiful chicken tractor in the background. Thank you. All right, check it out. These are called balusters, I think. I'm, uh, this, is, this is my balcony. This is the last thing I gotta put on the treehouse. Uh, here we've got, I borrowed these from Mr. Potma, tenon cutters. Oh yeah, oh I got all the sizes. Oh, 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 oh. So now, here you can come closer. 95 inches, about there, 100 inches. So now, what I gotta do is drill holes. Yes. So, you always wanna do a small scale test, so you make your mistakes on a thing you don't care about. We decided to pull it this way. Now the real one has a big old crack down the middle. I don't know why mm. or how that happened. Wood keeps drying. It really That's... compromises the structural integrity of the whole thing. Oh well. Uh, any professionals out there, feel free to tell me why the heck these things split and how to avoid it. Alright, that, as far as I'm going to go, it's about up to there. Hmm. So that's like an inch. Gotta do the whole thing. Yeah. So, I'm going to tenon. See, I tenoned this one, see, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then they can go ah, right into the uh, thing, and there's a little bit of wiggle room. The problem is, it takes forever to do it. Look at how long this takes. I've got, I'm just getting nothing. So what we decided was to use the table saw and like put it through, like have it a little bit sticking out of the top and put it through, so I'm gonna take this and then ten in that, because it's mostly done. It's... I think you're gonna to wanna to caulk around every single one of those. Yeah. So, from the bottom, I'm gonna measure 27 inches to the next one, and then hopefully they'll all work. The problem is these are not all the same depth, and the pole is not the same height. It's wobbly. A well, life is so difficult. That Maybe. one's way shorter than the others. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to like move that well, one. Well, yes, it is. Whatever, that but... one is. Hey, that one is a shorter by at least an inch. No, I don't think that's right. Yeah, I think that is right. Uh, they're the same height. It's just that this one is a lot no, longer. No, it's not the same height. Pretty cool, eh? I think it is fantastic. Except that one that's shorter than the rest. It's not shorter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All I, right, turn it off is. The camera. That's enough. That's enough out of you. The way that I designed this apparently, because I don't remember, <laughs> was that I'm first going to nail this, well, bolt this into here, 
and then take the whole thing and now oh the yes perfect I don't know if I got the size quite right okay hang on which one oh oh I might still be oh oh Ooh, it I should. Don't even need any oh, that's beautiful. I told you, 16. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Pretty good, eh? Not bad. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to build the other two. Yes. I'm going to paint this up with thickens. Yes. Building the holes themselves. Yes. I'm going to put a drainage hole through the middle. Right on. And then we can bolt them all in. Yes. And it will be done. Well, kind of. Just get a wide shot. I already have the close up. Now, oh. Oh, no. oh, no. ah. Maybe this is the last one. This For is good the last reason, one. because, you know. They're just all going to keep getting shorter until I have to well, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. Some of them. Look, look. Look at this. I see this is the worst angle that I could do. So, going in at this angle. That is about right. And I always pre-drill because I hate, hate splitting wood. I hate it. Close enough. Is yours in? No. Mine is. Mine is. What about the top? So is yours not in? No, it's, it's not. too high. About a half an inch. If you can just go get the sawzall. Why do I have to be the gopher? I'll get it. Hey, all right. Parent, your measuring was awesome. I know it was. You're measuring right down to the middle. Sixteenth of an inch. What? Awesome. Yes. Okay, critical test time. Don't walk over here. Will this hold itself up? Because I measured it so that it would. Oh. Uh, it doesn't. Because that, that's important. I can't have this falling on people's heads. Well, yes, you can. I'll deal with this later. <laughs> call it good. Yeah, all right. We're almost done with the triage. Got to So, I designed it so that this bolt doesn't, like, hold everything in. It just prevents it from moving this way, right? It's not like it'll be pulled out and then everybody falls out of the treehouse off the balcony, right? Like it's just there to, it's here for sheer strength. I don't know how to explain Which it. is absolutely it's, critical. It's you couldn't do without it. Yeah. You have to have this. Yeah. Arms are getting this tired. This is a manly workout, oh. not that wimpy workout oh. you do in the gym. Yeah, wimpy. They prepared me for This is the this. real deal. Yeah, no, see the difference is you could, you could take a break between sets, but here you just gotta keep going all day. It's like, oh, work's not done. Oh shit. That's it. Pretty darn good. Now we gotta do six more of those. You sickened it again. <laughs> yeah. I you yeah, I did. I did. Almost don't even need both. Yeah, that's There's quite a gap wrong. right there. Yeah, yeah. There's a little child to put their heads in. Both are that absolutely gap. critical. I know they are. <laughs> um this way? Yep. We Let's need to buy some celebratory expensive beer. <laughs> oh, that looks yeah, really good. On the porch. It's golden hour. <laughs> that makes for really good photography. <laughs> I want to know where the celebratory expensive beer is. <laughs> get some well, later. Sorry. So do we smash this against the hole now? <laughs> uh, no. That will be glass in the forest. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, it's good. Well, my eyes are above the railing. I like Yes, that. I built it so that your eyes are above the railing when you sit down using these chairs. Oh, now all we have to do is uh, figure out what's killing all the trees around here, and then my view won't be spoiled by dead trees. And uh, maybe yes. plant some more maples. Whatever Maple you, seems just whatever you want there. You maybe we can have them. syrup. Well, the treehouse is officially done. I still gotta like finish the interior. It's kind of gloomy in there. You need to paint it all white. Yeah, I'll do something like that. I'll sweep it up, you know, 
make sure there's still no leaks in the roof. And um, oh, get a get a shot of the. See where they hit the roof. So <laughs> this happened. Fortunately, that didn't happen inside. But I think it was a branch from this tree. It bounced off and landed in this tree. See that branch? That's what knocked a hole in my roof. So, you know, such is life in the tree house. In the forest. In the forest. This is what happens when we have windstorms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the and the fewer trees, the less the buffer there is to... That's like not a too bad place for it, I mean. I mean, you know, and we just get some caulk and... Caulk? Yeah, in the back side. It'll be fine. All right. Whatever you say here. It won't be beautiful, but... Okay, it's Cheeto time for me. What? I need some Cheetos. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> no, don't. I don't care. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that dead tree really makes it not as good. It's pretty sweet.